Minecraft Bedrock Edition is full of weird unique features. It has its own mobs, unique structures, different crafting recipes, and so much more that isn't found in Java Edition. So today I bring you 50 things that are only in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. In Bedrock, if a drowned is holding an item, it actually starts to walk like the player, which is a little unnerving. What's worse is that drowns will also swim like a player when they're holding an item as well. Okay, drowns in Bedrock are really creepy. Speaking of weird Bedrock features, when skeletons are underwater, they will switch to a unique melee attack instead of using their bow. In Bedrock, if you think an invisibility potion will keep you safe from guardians, then you are wrong. This is because guardians in Bedrock are still able to attack the player despite being completely invisible. Bedrock guardians are OP. In Java, an easy way to kill endermen is by placing them in a boat. This is because the endermen cannot teleport away, making it an easy way to farm ender pearls. On Bedrock, this sadly isn't possible as endermen can still teleport out of the boat. Tridents are more powerful in Bedrock Edition as when they're thrown, they can deal damage to multiple targets at once. In Java, however, they only hit one target at a time, which doesn't seem very fair. This is a cheap barrel and this is an expensive barrel. Despite being the same block, Mojang decided that barrels in Bedrock would have a much cheaper recipe as they require sticks to craft instead of planks. This baby villager in Java Edition looks pretty normal, right? Well now, take a look at the Bedrock baby villager. Its head is slightly bigger and looks a little ridiculous. Crafting a boat in Java only requires five wooden planks, but where do these paddles come from? Well, Bedrock kind of has it covered as you need an additional shovel in order to craft the boat. Still doesn't explain where the other paddle came from though. For those who enjoy the old combat system in Minecraft, you may actually like Bedrock. This is because in Bedrock Edition, it still uses the old combat system that was used prior to the 1.9 combat update in Java. In Java, we've all gone to the nether roof at least once. I mean, it's great for traveling and building incredibly powerful farms. But sadly for you bedrock players, you are not able to build on top of the nether. If you enjoy variety in your Minecraft seeds, then you're more likely to get it on Java Edition. This is because there is 18.4 quintillion possible seeds to get on Java. On bedrock, however, However, there's only 4.2 billion possible seeds to get, so the chances of seeing the same seed twice is significantly higher. Bedrock Edition seems to enjoy blinding the player as if it were real life. This is because if you stare into the sun on bedrock, it causes the darkness effect. On Java, however, you can stare into the sun with no consequences to your eyesight. Do you like using your offhand in Java? Well, in bedrock, you can basically forget about this feature, as there's only a select few items that can be placed placed into the offhand slot. In Bedrock Edition, when a parrot is fed a cookie, they don't instantly die like they do in Java. Instead, they slowly die from poison, which seems like a much harsher fate. I'm not sure what Mojang did here, but cows in Bedrock Edition run significantly faster than they do in Java. This happens when the player is holding wheat in their hand. I guess cows in Bedrock are just much more eager. Java Edition lacks a feature that Bedrock has, fallen trees. Why Java doesn't have falling trees is very very strange as it would be quite simple to implement and they look really cool. Surviving a super flat world in Bedrock Edition is much harder than Java Edition as village structures do not generate at all. This is a flat world, not to be confused with a super flat world. That's right, in Bedrock they're called flat worlds and in Java they're called super flat worlds. Does that mean one world is flatter than the other? Who knows? In Java, do you think a snow golem and zombie fight is a little one-sided? I mean the zombie's not bothering him at all. Well in Bedrock Edition, the zombies will actually fight back. Be careful, Snow Golem, get out of there! In Bedrock Edition, Vindicators also attack Snow Golems, but in Java Edition, they don't. I guess they're not as nice in Bedrock. Have you ever seen a baby squid in Minecraft? Well, in Bedrock Edition, they actually exist. These baby squids will spawn naturally in your Bedrock world, however, it does make me a bit sad that they aren't in Java. Much like baby squids, there's also baby dolphins. These also only spawn naturally in your world on Bedrock, but in Java, uh, oh, oh wait, they don't exist. Have you ever felt that armor stands in Java are missing a little something? Well, in Bedrock Edition, armor stands actually have actual arms, whereas in Java, they don't. I guess Bedrock stole Java's arms? Is this item called an enchanted golden apple or an enchanted apple? Technically, both are correct, as in Bedrock, they're known as enchanted apples, and in Java, they're called enchanted golden apples. If you have a spare fire aspect book, then try using it on a campfire. This is because in Bedrock, you can light a campfire by right clicking
cooking with a fire aspect book. This also works on candles. Just hit it with a fire aspect book and there you go. However, be careful with your fire aspect books around TNT because if you touch it, it will ignite. You don't have to worry about this on Java though as nothing happens. Oh, look at me. I accidentally put the campfire out. Not to worry. Let me just set myself on fire. That's right. You can relight campfires with your burning body, which is a bit weird. That's right. On bedrock, if you're ever on fire, just stand on top of an unlit campfire because it will light it. I'm not so sure if you'll survive though. Can you use bone meal on sugarcane? Well, if you're a Java player, you're likely to say no, but in bedrock edition, you can use bone meal on sugarcane, which is kind of cool. Why isn't this a feature on Java, man? I have to wait ages for the sugarcane to grow. Have you ever noticed that chests look a bit strange in your hotbar? That's because in Bedrock Edition, they're displayed as a full chest block, whereas in Java, they're a lot smaller. In Bedrock Edition, cauldrons have an exclusive feature where you can apply dye colours to water. This is a cool feature, as you can have a bunch of cauldrons that are all different water colours. If you try to do this in Java, well, nothing happens. In Bedrock, you can also use these coloured cauldrons to dye your leather armour to their respective colours. In Java, you are only able to dye armour through the crafting recipe. You can, however, use the cauldrons to remove the dye from the armour in Java, which is pretty cool, I guess. Have you ever wanted to attach your mobs to a wall by using a lead? Well, in Bedrock, you can, whereas in Java, you can only place leads on fences. In Bedrock Edition, witches are very aggressive, as they'll even go as far as to attack an iron golem. In Java Edition, they're a little bit more chill, as they won't attack an iron golem unless they're provoked. Oh no, this is not good. I'm drowning. I'm gonna die. Oh wait, I could just place down a door to save myself. Wait, what's going on? Why am I still drowning? Oh wait, you can't use doors as air pockets in Bedrock. It only works in Java. Wait, no! Pillagers are a bit more useful in Bedrock Edition, as they have a chance to drop up to two arrows upon death. In Java Edition, however, they don't drop anything, which is a little bit disappointing. Have you ever noticed that the Wither is considerably harder on Bedrock when you increase the difficulty? On Bedrock, if you have the difficulty, set to hard mode, the Wither has 300 hearts of health instead of 150. Whereas the Java's Wither stays at 150 hearts of health no matter the difficulty. Totems of Undying behave differently on Bedrock compared to Java, but this detail is so small it's hard to even notice. So when the totem is used on Bedrock, you get Regeneration 2 for 40 seconds, but on Java it lasts for 45 seconds. When you see a cauldron at a swamp hut in Java Edition, it's not really that exciting as it's always empty. In Bedrock, however, cauldrons have a chance to be filled with a random potion. Bedrock's wandering traders are a bit smarter than their Java counterpart. This is because if hostile mobs approach a wandering trader on Bedrock, they'll instantly drink an invisibility potion, but on Java, they just kind of run for their lives. Sometimes Bedrock Edition can feel a little bit dated, especially since they still use the old splash sound when you land in water. I have to say though, this water sound is super nostalgic. It takes me back to the old days of Minecraft. Being able to destroy a water source block with a torch in Java Edition is a bit of a strange feature. Now Bedrock Edition knows this is a strange feature and decided not to include it. Oh dear, I don't have any shears to carve my pumpkin. Does this mean I can't create an iron golem? Not to worry, as in Bedrock Edition, it doesn't matter which type of pumpkin you use, you will still be able to make the iron golem regardless. Oh, and this also works with snow golems. In Java, trading with villagers is like a box of chocolates. You never really know what you're going to get. But in Bedrock Edition, it's a bit different as the villager will display the next set of trades available. In Java Edition, there is a feature known as quasi-connectivity, which is technically a bug that allows you to power a piston diagonally or two blocks above. In Bedrock Edition, however, this feature does not exist at all, which means there's less ways to power pistons. If you have a bee nest nearby, make Make sure to remove any berry bushes, as on Bedrock Edition, bees will take damage if they touch them. On Java Edition, bees don't take damage from berry bushes. It's a well-known fact that piglins in Minecraft do not like soul fire, as they will always run away if they're nearby. In Bedrock, not only are piglins scared, they're also paranoid, as they will still run away from extinguished soul campfires despite not being lit. While this feature isn't in Java Edition, it's likely a bug in Bedrock. And finally on our list, in Bedrock Edition, the crossbow's loading animation is completely different to Java's crossbow. There's loads more features that can only be found
found in Bedrock. Let me know if you want to see a part two. Anyways, bye!